Hello everyone, my name is Anastasia and this is my golden retriever puppy Floki who is six months old and this is our daily routine. Our day begins at 6 or 6.15, we go outside for a quick potty break, a quick walk, and then we go inside to have a training session or a play session. Here we practice visit command, which is a better way to greet people than to jump on them, which is our current problem. We also practice some of the commands that we already know, such as spin or bang bang. Uh, he is supposed to kind of die when he performs this. Uh, he knows a lot of nice tricks and commands that we like to practice with him. And after this, it's his favorite time, his breakfast. I think the whole routine takes maybe around an hour, sometimes it's quicker. Uh, so I take him outside, uh, feed him, play with him, train him, and that's it. Um, and well, now that he's six months old, it is much more manageable than it used to be. He is much calmer and patient now. And now that he is having his breakfast, it's my time. My morning routine now with Floki is less crazy compared to what it was at the beginning. He could start barking or jumping on me while I was preparing my food and it was nearly impossible to eat in his presence. That was his way to ask for more food. He's just, he always wants more food and sometimes he even steals mine. Our trainer taught us that the best way to handle this kind of behavior is to redirect it or just avoid it whatsoever give him some toys or long-lasting chews. Toys do not work as well, that's why I usually give him a pull stick or an antler right after breakfast so he can give me some space. Okay, so I had my breakfast. Oh my god, Floki, stop. <laughs> Sit. Maybe he wants to play. No. Oh my god. No. 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 Sit. Down. Settle. Yeah. Now, he's a teenager and I know sometimes he does not do something I ask him to just because he knows how to do it, but he just does not want to. No! Bad boy! I'll take your treats away. No. I intentionally put that part in there because sometimes our golden pup is crazy and he used to be very crazy at the beginning, uh, so I just want this part to be there. Anyways, it's time to start working and be more productive, that's why I moved to my working area uh, and Floki used to not be allowed in there because he's such a distractor, but now he's a better boy, so he will just wander around and at some point he will fall asleep. I see how with time and training he becomes calmer and more patient and now he just basically sleeps throughout the whole day. He will definitely sleep till my lunch break, giving me a lot of time. Okay, it's almost 12 and we are ready to have lunch. Someone, as you can hear, is definitely ready here. Well. Right now, I need to prepare my lunch and I also need to add some water to Floki's lunch. Uh, he's already here <laughs> waiting for his food. He knows when I go to uh, the kitchen, it means food is coming his way pretty soon. Hi, Fa. Spoon. 
spin. Touch. Good boy. Get it. Yeah, I told you, he is such a destructor. This is what happens when we don't give him a bullet stick or an antler and cannot manage him. Anyways, it's time for a quick walk. My lunch break doesn't usually last more than an hour, but I think it's enough time for me to eat my food and spend some time with Floki. I feed him, then we go out for a quick walk, and sometimes we have a training session. I do like to have a lot of small training sessions during the day, like maybe three or four each five or ten minutes uh, and sometimes we have a play session he loves tag of war and a little of other games and i just like uh, to give him the opportunity to burn some of his energy and then it's time for me to get back to work and floki is just patiently waiting for me to finish my things <laughs> he sleeps most of the afternoon and he wasn't this way at the beginning uh, he needed a lot of attention but once we taught him saddle command it became all easier so that's something i would definitely recommend to teach your puppy here he is he's all ready for dinner now it's dinner time and it's time to tidy up a little bit Simple things like loading dishwasher used to be so tricky with Loki when he was smaller. If I had recorded this video maybe two or three months ago, you would have seen him just being around, trying to chew on everything and anything, trying to lick everything and just being annoying. Now he's a lot calmer, as I say so many times, because I, I am just so grateful for that. Anyways, our day is divided into three parts. You've already seen the morning routine, quick lunch break, now it's evening routine. Each part has a potty break, a small training or a playing session, and of course a meal. Usually meal is before a potty break, except for breakfast. Uh, first in the morning we first go outside. Uh, and after dinner we usually spend more time outside, which we'll see in a minute. Playing fetch, go on play dates uh, or hikes. Uh, because if he doesn't get enough, enough activity, he becomes very annoying. Not like right now, you can see him being quite patient and cute. He also doesn't like to cuddle, but, well, he seems to tolerate when I try to cuddle him anyways. Another neat trick we taught him is to actually wait for food and not to jump right into it. I think it is very helpful and especially with very food-motivated dogs. Okay, Floki's ready to have his dinner and he's waiting for me to say... Get it! Yes, get it! Good boy! This guy is definitely <laughs> tired and happy. Um, we went outside to play fetch a little bit, which he doesn't do. He doesn't fetch. He runs after a ball, but he doesn't fetch it. So I also got to run a little bit, um, but it was fun anyways. And then some other dogs and dog owners came and they played together and it was quite nice. I didn't record anything. I was too shy to record. Uh, but yeah, and now, well, he is already sleeping. He's really tired. I will just do a couple of more things. Floki, say bye. Say bye. <laughs> 